Okay, welcome back to Oil Rig Slash Bubbler Part 2. This time I'm going to make the dome and I'm going to make the nail and then we'll show you an assembled product. Alright, let's get started. Okay, first we'll make the uh, we're gonna make the dome. I have some graphite tape here. You can use aluminum foil. You can use an aluminum can. You just gotta cut a thin strip out because when these two pieces get hot and are connected, they stay connected till they cool down. Okay, so put your graphite tape on there make sure whatever you have graphite tape aluminum foil whatever comes right down to this line right here straight across you don't want it poking out that's lined up nicely if it's clear glass, make sure you clean it off good. Any kind of dirt or oils on the surface are going to make it bubble. See it. Take as much of the point off as you can. <clears throat> Use a small pinner little flame. good dome is going to come down as close to the joint as possible without destroying the frost. You got to kind of gradually work your way there. That's looking pretty good. There we go, pretty happy with that. So I think I think the hole in the dome should be as big as the hole in the male piece. Hope you guys have been practicing picking a hole. Okay, nice little dome. To take these
these off, you'll need your Kevlar glove. Hopefully it doesn't have a hole in it like mine. Works real good. We, ow! I just did it. Stuck my finger in this freaking thin spot. Burnt myself. And trust me, that tape is still really hot. I don't know how it holds the heat, but it does. Alright, throw that in there. Okay, now we'll make the nail. What you're going to want to do is take a piece of 5 mil, chop off a piece, I don't know, what's that, 2 inches? About 2 and a half inches. Maybe 3, to be safe. Take some rod. We're going to bridge this. Okay, you know how the rocket fins? on a spaceship, or like I say rocket fins on a rocket and you have three of them, well you want to space it just like that. You want three bumps about three millimeters high Try not to burn yourself. Okay, once you get your three bumps on there. Connect up with a punty. Take your bridge off. cut that looks a little bit long there I think you want maybe an inch sticking out make a little ball okay let that ball cool Take a small carbon rod, <clears throat> heat up just the tip of this ball, and get a little hole going. And then just start expanding it. You heat, press, and turn it. Probably a lot like pottery. Okay, you got a nice little nail. Take your pliers. Throw it in the kiln. And luckily, we have one that's already made. We're going to assemble it. Right here we got the nail. Let me get a. Oh. Let's go over here to the carbon plate so they can see better.
take your nail place it in there you can't really see it too well you can't no what do we need a, a different background uh, yeah how about this yeah that might, there we go can you see it now that's better yeah okay so take your nail drop it in there and you got your dome fit it on there and then anybody that uh, knows about oil knows how to use it and remember uh, you guys can add instead of a fee uh, male here you can put a female on here and use a regular bowl with it okay well I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show it's been real fun yeah, fun under the sun these guys are still practicing. They don't get much practice, so they haven't really got too far, but you know, they're still trying. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody online. It's been great. Uh, the burnandlearn.net website's filling up. A lot of good info on there. If you haven't been on that site and registered, go ahead and do so. Uh, Facebook the, the uh, success team and the honorary participant you know, is really going good. I like seeing you guys post pictures on there and seeing the work progress. And it's been cool. It's evolving the whole thing. Like we said, we started out, we didn't know what we were doing. I didn't care. You know, I just do stuff, you know. Figure out the details later. That's what we're doing. And it's just going to get better, especially if you guys keep participating and getting better. You know, I hope you guys are the, uh, the, the leading edge of the industry someday. Able to leave me behind making my spoons, you know, and you guys can make some really cool shit. Show those guys out there that are making cool stuff now how to really make cool stuff. You know, that's what I want to see. So, thanks to everybody. It's been great. Love you, fucker. Don't forget to burn and learn. Oh, yeah. Burn and learn. Woo.